Okay, here we are in uh, Matrix Gold. Uh, welcome to the channel if this is your first time. Uh, today we're going to take a look at uh, the flay command, uh, flay surfaces. A uh, variable will hit up another day. Uh, but uh, this always, when I first started, gave me a, a, a lot of problems and uh, actually today it still does on occasion. Uh, but let's let's talk about it. there's a couple different ways. There's actually more that I'm going to show today, but uh, uh, this will be just the basics. Uh, so first we have two uh, curves out here, and they have very sharp edges. So the first thing we want to do is if you remember uh, before you extrude anything or uh, m you know make a design. Uh, you can play at least some of the edges to get started. So you can select your curve, uh, go to the curve menu, uh, and hit your dynamic fillet. Uh, and then it will give you, uh, you can change it from here over on your dynamic commands, or you can type in something. I'm going to type in a point three and hit enter. And uh, I'll just hit enter again. We'll just keep that. So now it laid uh, two curves out there. Uh, your original curve it kept, and then the flayed curve. So you probably want to take your uh, uh, original curve and just hide it. Okay. Uh, and then it flayed all the edges according to, uh, you know, th point three. Uh, and then you can take that curve and extrude it up and now you have a solid surface right okay so the first thing you need to do is go around and pick all your uh, curves that you want to do I'm gonna take that uh, yellow curve and hide it as well or I'll change it to a blue and turn it off uh, so you want to pick your curves to fillet, right? So go to your surface, fillet, okay, and then click the fillet surface. Select your first surface to fillet, and then select your second surface, okay? And it gives you uh, a nice little surface. Right away, what I would do is first uh, take that and change it to another color. I'm just going to go to red, and then actually click on red for the rest of them. Uh, and then I would go ahead and just drag it out a little. And then uh, hit right click on your and just keep going around to do and then do the same thing with all your curves. Drag them out. Uh, and I'm going to do it down here. Drag it out. And same thing here, all f all the way around, because I want all my curves to be nice and smooth, so it doesn't scratch anybody, and, or whatever. Uh, and keep going around. And I'll show you why on the next one, why we do this. Why we drag them out. And select the curve drag it out and select the curve, oh wait, select the first surface, second surface, fillet and drag it out, okay. Now at, at this point what I would do is uh, if you can see the green curve is not going to, or the curve here, this curve here is not going to cut the, the red curves because it, it's not all the way through the curves, right? So what you want to do is take your surface there and go ahead and just explode. This is just one way to do it, uh, but go ahead and explode it. And then take those curves and do this, or surfaces, and do the same thing with those okay this one will probably cut no, but why take the chance go ahead and drag it out a little bit just to be safe this per this surface here would probably be fine but uh, why take the chance right so right away what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those uh, green curves select all of them and then I'm going to change them to, uh, we'll do a yellow. Okay. So you 
you really don't want to do the yellow ones first you want to do the red ones so I'm going to take this curve hold down shift select this one and go over to the other side and do the same thing with those and I'm going to take those and put them on blue okay so now I have three different colors out there it'd be a lot easier to do them all at the same time so the first thing I want to do is cut the blue and red okay because then I'll be able to cut uh, the blue and red with the yellow because right now the yellow will not cut the blue and red if that makes sense but <laughs> uh, here we go so we'll, we'll go ahead and go ahead to split and then we'll take all the red and split them with blue uh, uh, so I sl okay let's back out of that just so I can explain it so first thing we're going to do is go to split okay select objects to split we're going to split the blue and then we're going to hit enter and then we're going to take the red and hit enter okay and we're not going to do anything we're just going to go right back and do the right click on the mouse and then we're going to take all the red hit enter and split with the blue and hit enter okay and then from here what we're going to do is take all the right click again take all the red and blue and sp hit enter and split with the yellow hit enter and then we're going to do the exact same thing there we go right click take the yellow and hit enter and split with the red and blue and hit enter okay so now we should be able to go through here and get rid of everything we don't want and there we go okay and you can do that get rid of all of them and you'll have that surface then you can join it uh, maybe I should I don't think I need to go through and do it all do I uh. go ahead and select them all one more and then we should be able to take it join it back together join join there it is and then close poly surface with all filleted corners okay all right so that's uh if you remember to fillet your curve before you extruded it and you don't want to go back and do all that so I'll just get rid of this or, or I'll just take this and we'll just change it to this color and get rid of it okay now this one I forgot to extrude or, or I forgot to fillet let's say and so I'm going to take the curve go to my solids I f oh no I should have you know whatever <laughs> and extrude it out okay and then I'll just change it to green so we can see it real good okay so now you have to be cautious here okay first first thing I want to show you is if you go to your surface and you fillet the edges here here and here and then you do it again here and here uh, it will not work because they do not intersect if you look you can see that they are not touching right so it will not uh, split so you can't do it so this is why we take the curve or the surface and just extrude it out a little bit now they're intersecting and you can split okay uh, let's go over to the other side here real quick and then you can uh, right click and do these surfaces here and as you can tell you want to go ahead and extrude that surface out too but again, you cannot take, uh, let's see, our, our yellow surface here and split the red first. You have to split the, r uh, well, change this one to blue, the red and blue before you can uh, use the yellow one to split it. Okay. Uh, now, you, you want to do the top and bottom sides first. You don't want to do this one first, and I'll show you why. Uh, okay so if you take this and you drag it out take this oh, and drag it out that should be alright yeah so okay Just take this there we go alright I just drug it one way. Alright, so we'll go through and just do the same thing. 
and we'll oh I spun it go back no big deal let's click on it we want to drag it out and again okay drag it out alright and we can go do our others red surface drag it out red surface drag it out red surface drag it out and our last one here red surface uh, control points no no okay and drag it out okay so we have all have them all so we want to take our uh, yellow or reds on our corners here and change them to yellow and then we want to take our curves here here and here and turn them to blue and we'll leave those others red now again you can't split with the yellow one first you have to do the red and blue first so we're going to go ahead and uh, go to our split and we're going to select red enter split with blue enter and then we're just going to right back right click on the mouse go to our blue enter and red enter and then we want to take our red and blue and split our yellow right click on the mouse red blue split with yellow enter and then we want to do the same thing with the yellow so we take the yellow enter red blue enter okay and now we should be able to get rid of all those points that we don't want so we want a nice clean surface there and then all you have to do is go through and delete all those and uh, I'll go ahead and do it. Delete all them. Delete all them. All those. All those. All those. Oh, forgot one. All those. Take our whole surface. Did I get them all? I hope so. Take our whole surface. Join it together. Well, maybe. Take our whole surf. Oh, wait a minute. I undone something. Delete. Take our whole surface. Join them together. And we have a closed poly surface. So that's how you uh, do the curve or a s fillet on a surface. Uh, it's, it's it can be a pain in the butt. It takes a little bit of practice. I would sit there and throw this out there and practice with it so you can get the hang of it to do it really quickly. Uh, there are other ways. You could take a curve, offset it, split that surface, then split this surface, put a profile in there and, and do a sweep. But it, both of them <laughs> take the same amount of time or the uh, splitting the surfaces may take a little bit longer but at least you get uh, a surface going all the way around so I hope that helps uh, if it did just uh, leave me a like a comment and uh, please subscribe uh, thanks for watching